Hello and welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're embarking on a journey through Oslo's most enthralling destinations, each filled with history, artistry and natural wonders. From towers that celebrate Norway's legacy to ancient Viking relics, Oslo is full of culture and beauty waiting to be discovered. Join us as we dive into the top 10 must-visit spots that make Oslo an unforgettable destination for every kind of adventurer. Combining Norway's passion for skiing and soaring architectural feats, the Holmenkollen Ski Museum and Tower offers interactive exhibits on the country's ski heritage paired with sweeping views from atop its world-famous ski jumping hills. The Ski Museum delves into Norwegian innovations and competitors throughout skiing history with engaging displays like simulated ski jumps, ski simulators and mini documentaries playing across screens. Exhibits profile famous Norwegian Olympic skiers while also explaining the evolution of ski equipment over time. Authentic artifacts include medal-winning skies and very early prototype boots and bindings. While the museum itself provides a comprehensive overview of Norway's obsession with skiing, the real highlight is taking an elevator 394 steps up to the top of the ski jump observation tower. Gaze down at the staggering angle and distance of the actual ski jump stretch. The medieval Ekershus fortress overlooks Oslo's harbour, providing both scenic views of the capital and a window into its strategic military past. Ekershus originated in the 1300s as a crucial stronghold and castle when Oslo became Norway's capital during the Viking era. The campus grew over the next several centuries, playing an active role in Norway's military defense through World War II. Today, visitors can explore the castle's grounds, courtyards and buildings that represent layers of evolution through different rulers and renovations. The stretches of stone walls, imposing gates and looming towers make it easy to envision the fortress's original purpose during medieval battles. The green parks, gardens and museums showcasing fine art and military history create a more welcoming ambience these days. The Munch Museum in Oslo is dedicated to showcasing the prolific works of Norway's most famous and influential artist Edvard Munch. The museum holds over half of Munch's paintings, sketches, prints and other artistic creations spanning over six decades of his career before he passed in 1944. Of course, the museum's main highlight is seeing in person Munch's most iconic creation. The painting The Scream. The unsettling, expressive colors and contorted figure reflect the anxiety and isolation Munch felt in modern life. Beyond just the Scream's original painted versions, you can also view Munch's print renderings that brought his compelling composition and emotion to greater fame. Norway's dedication to the arts shines through in the stunning architecture of the Oslo Opera House, a building whose design combines functionality with visual poetry. Completed in 2007 and situated right along the city's harbour front, the Opera House features a dazzling white granite and marble exterior that slopes gently down towards the water. What makes the exterior design so genius is that the roof doubles as an accessible public walkway stretching all around and up to the very top of the building. Locals and visitors flock to climb up and wander across the Opera House's angled roof surface, which manages rainwater runoff through its slight gradient. Mathalen Oslo is Norway's premier food hall, housed in a converted 1930s factory alongside the Akerselva River. The soaring, light-filled space features exposed brick and iron beams that now spotlight over 30 specialty food shops and restaurants representing the diversity of Norwegian and international cuisine. As you wander through Mathalen's vibrant stalls and dining areas, you'll discover zones dedicated to fish, meat, baked goods, chocolate and more, while encountering eateries specializing in tacos, tapas, microbrews and Norwegian staples like reindeer sausage. The centerpiece of Oslo's famous Frogner Park is the larger-than-life Vigland Sculpture Park, which showcases over 200 artworks by renowned Norwegian sculptor Gustav Vigland. As you wander through the almost 80 acres of the sculpture garden, you'll be greeted by an astounding collection of sculptures depicting the human experience through a variety of ages, emotions and phases of life. The park layout features a main bridge lined with wrought iron gates and dotted with sculpture groups in between. This leads up to the famous monolith, a soaring tower of 121 intertwined human figures carved out of a single block of granite. Another iconic work is the Sinatagan sculpture of an angry toddler. 
Situated just north of Oslo, the Nordmarka Wilderness Area encompasses one of Northern Europe's largest stretches of wilderness so close to a major city. Its pristine forests, lakes, rivers and mountains offer endless outdoor recreation less than 20 minutes from downtown Oslo. The area spans over 300 square miles loaded with hiking trails, ski trails, fishing lakes and shelters campsites to support multi-day adventures. Amongst the pines and spruce trees you might spot wildlife like elk, deer, foxes, beavers and over 100 bird species. Iconic peaks here include Trivan Shogda and Sogensvan, rewarding climbers with panoramic views of lakes, forests and Oslo's sprawling cityscape. Taking an Oslo Fjord cruise should be at the top of any traveler's list when visiting Norway's capital. The Oslo Fjord stretches over 100 kilometers from the heart of the city out to the Skagerrak Sea, with tranquil bays, small islands and rugged shorelines hugging its perimeter. Fjord cruises typically embark from downtown Oslo's harbor and first pass under the striking architecture of the Oslo Opera House. They then continue into the open fjord, sailing by tiny islands like Hovedoya and Langoyin that can only be reached by boat. Along the way, you'll gain views back towards Oslo that showcase the city skyline from a distance, framed by the blue fjord waters out front and forested hills behind. Many tours offer live commentary to highlight sites and share history about the Oslo fjord region as well. Some cruises even disembark on one of the islands for a wander through quiet beaches and forests before heading back. Fjord cruises can range from quick 45-minute excursions to half and full day trips. They provide an idyllic vantage point of Oslo that transitions between urban cityscapes and Scandinavian island serenity. It's the perfect way to get out on the water during a visit to Norway's largest city. The Fram Museum pays homage to Norwegian polar exploration by honoring the ship Fram and its legendary expeditions to the Arctic and Antarctic regions in the late 1800s and early 1900s. The museum is located right along the Oslo waterfront, with the preserved Fram itself taking center stage among the exhibitions. Visitors can marvel at the scale and Nordic craftsmanship of the ship while walking its decks and looking into cramped cabins. Engaging displays then chronicle each groundbreaking expedition the Fram enabled, like Fridtjof Nansen's attempt at the North Pole and Roald Amundsen's famous attainment of the South Pole. High-tech exhibits even simulate the extreme polar environments and challenges the early explorers faced. By touring the storied Fram and reliving its daring journeys through history-defining adventures, the Fram Museum illuminates Norway's persistent spirit of exploration and resilience in the face of bitter conditions. It remains an enduring symbol of national pride. The Norwegian Museum of Cultural History transports visitors back in time to experience traditional Norwegian life through a sprawling open-air museum displaying over 150 historic buildings from different regions and periods. Wandering through the Norsk Folke Museum, you'll explore structures like medieval-era stave churches, painstakingly relocated and reconstructed on-site, along with entire farmsteads, village storefronts and log cabins, showcasing building styles spanning the 1500s to 1900s. Costumed guides amplify the living history experience. Inside the buildings are authentic artifacts, traditional costumes and interior decor true to the time, showcasing how Norwegians cooked, slept, worked and lived through changing centuries. Special exhibits spotlight cultural traditions around holidays, milestones like baptism and confirmation and folk arts like rosemelling painting and intricate bonnet embroidery. If you enjoyed this video on Oslo, you'll love this next one.